Hey everybody, I hope you are having a fantastic day. I have had some fun today. I had a little project I wanted to share with you. It's kind of more of a hack, but some people could find it useful. One of the things that I am asked over and over and over again is can I use user spice with WordPress and different forms of that? Can I use WordPress templates with user spice and all that kind of stuff? And up until today, I have always said no. But thanks to one line of code that I added to user spice, it is now possible. So let me show you how it works. We are going to do a fresh install of user spice. Sorry, we're going to do a fresh install of WordPress. So I'm just going to copy the files over. Now this could work in an existing install, but I just feel like for demonstration purposes, I'm going to walk right through the whole process. So I'm going to refresh the page and we should get the installer. It takes a little longer than the user spice one, but we're gonna walk through it. And uh, unlike user spice, um, WordPress does not have the ability to create the database for you, so I did that. Uh, we're gonna give it root and no password localhost, and that's great. So we're gonna run the installation, and then we're going to give it a title of uh, US on WP for user spice on WordPress, and admin, and password, we're gonna confirm the weak password. And then uh, we're gonna do bob at aol.com. So it gets all my spam, and we're gonna install WordPress. Fantastic, so let's log in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to install a whole bunch of WordPress themes, and I'll be right back. Fantastic. So what I've seen so far is that we are about compatible with half of the templates for WordPress is right out of the box, including some of my big favorite ones like uh, B theme and stuff like that. But um, basically, I've installed a bunch of templates and I'm going to create a menu and we're going to call it main menu, which is the usually what you call it. And we're going to add the sample page to it. And let's add a couple of custom links that will make our lives easier. So we're going to do localhost. WP because that's where I install WordPress users account.php and then we're going to add uh, localhost uh, WP users admin.php just to get us to the dashboard. Fantastic. So let's add that and save it. And then we're going to manage the locations and put the primary as the main menu. And now, if we were to go and visit the site, well, we still have, we've got these menu links, which these two aren't going to go anywhere. This one will go to the sample page. Uh, and we have all these themes. So let's go ahead and activate one. Let's activate one that's like over the top. So we'll take this one. Uh, we're going to activate that and now refresh the page. And we have this crazy sample page that is actually WordPress. So we have the home page. We have the sample page, great. So at this point, we don't have any user spice, but we have a few options. So you can either do a fresh install of user spice or you can um, copy an existing project. Now, if you wanna do an install, you can either use a separate database or you can put them in the same database. There's no conflicts or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a copy of an existing project. Now, if you were to want to install user spice fresh at this point, one of the things that's very important is that you don't overwrite index.php. Actually, regardless of which method you use, you don't want to overwrite WordPress's index.php. So if you are doing a fresh install, go ahead and delete index.php from the installer. And if you are using your existing project, then I suggest you rename it to something like home.php and then kind of work that out in your code. Now, one more thing is because you won't have the initial index.php for user spice, if you're installing fresh, all you'll have to do is go to install index.php and the installer will just magically pop up. But what we're going to do is we're going to use an existing project. So we're going to just copy the entire project in here minus index.php. So I'm going to copy it and it's going to try to overwrite the favicon, which is fine. Great. It is all copied. So at this point, if we were to go to the account dashboard, you would see that we have um, 
the regular user spice look and feel. It is definitely different. Let's get another one of these up here. It is definitely different from this. We're nothing alike. So I could come in here to the templates and I could change my template to whatever I wanted. I could change it to Mintly or whatever. But when I come back to my account page, I am still going to look like user spice. That's not what we want. We want it to look like WordPress. So how do we do that? Well, we are going to go back to the dashboard and we're going to go to the template manager and we're going to install a special template. Sorry, we're going to go to Spice Shaker. And if you have not put your API key in, you'll want to do this and refresh the page. But uh, we're going to do one called WordPress. And this is special and it is made for WordPress compatibility. So we're going to install this. Now, this will work on any version 5.0.4 or later. I had to add one whole line of code to user spice to make this work and so uh, anything 5.0.4 or later you can install this template and what will happen is you'll go and activate it and now when you go to the account page you will see that your account page is actually wrapped in the WordPress thing so this is the header this is the footer of WordPress and we are just looking like the WordPress template and I can come here to store.php and I can I don't have any pictures in there but I could go ahead and you know add pies to my cart and all that kind of stuff and everything works as if it was native user spice um, now if we want to we could come back here to this and we could switch to this theme and you'll see that when I refresh the page here that let's go to this uh, you'll see here that everything changes over to that other theme and I can come here and do it again and everything still works and let's do it one more time let's go to uh, what looks kind of different let's pick a different one let's go to this G CGS travel agency activate that and click here and everything is that theme so I mean, again, it's kind of a hack, and you may have to adjust some divs and stuff like that, but dang, like, the fact... Oh, I missed a P here. Um, the fact that you can get that much of your WordPress from User Spice is kind of a cool little hack. And so I can't provide a ton of support for this, and I can't guarantee that your theme is going to work, but for the most part, I think it's kind of a cool way to mix the two together. And so... Hope it helps somebody. Thanks for watching.